Hello everyone. If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, I believe you have to understand you are always going to have problems. There may be some breaks in time, meaning after a problem, you may get a break for a while, but I believe we are always going to have problems. Am I telling you to not pray about your problems? No. Am I telling you you should not fast about your problems? No. But what I am telling you, so you can realize and think it is not strange, I believe we are always going to have problems, meaning that we are going to have problems until the day we die. I believe in Ephesians, uh, I don't have it on me right now, Ephesians 6 and 19, I guess, where pretty much I don't know if it's 19 or if it is in chapter 6, but pretty much telling us that humans are not really our problems, but the demonic. So if that be the case, so when you are trying to live for Jesus Christ and if you feel like you are being tested or whatever like that so much I believe that is normal and I think too if you go higher in Jesus Christ I believe the testing is increased, perhaps on another level, higher level, perhaps. It really makes me think we are in a spiritual war, a war over our, can I say souls, or can I say our eternity. I believe the closer you get to Jesus Christ, I believe the enemy gets uh, gets to mess with you on a higher level. So the closer you get to Jesus, I believe the enemy gets to mess with you on a higher level. So as you go, the enemy goes as well. So if you go to, to make this easy to understand, not saying it is done in this exact way. So if you go to level 10, the enemy is going to level 10. If you go to level 15, the enemy is going. So where you go, the enemy goes. In short, not saying that is exactly how it goes, but it seems to be a bit similar to that. So if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ and you encounter problems, don't think it is strange. I know for myself, um, particular things happens to me and I am going to be honest with you it is tiring excuse me it is tiring like this happens uh, that happens this happens that happens this happens that happens this happens that happens yes there are times when things are okay, but it seems like more than often, can I say that more, more than often? I would say 
maybe more than often, or I guess on average, good things happens to me as well, but it seems like so much like things continue to happen as if, but I guess that is life. And I guess that shows that we are in a spiritual war. I hope this is making sense to you. So if you are living for Jesus Christ and resistance is coming your way, you have to know that is normal. Yes, you should pray about it. Yes, you should fast. Yes, you should seek God about it, but don't feel like what you what you are going through is foreign it is not it is something that i think many of us go through myself like <laughs> i'm serious so, like some things that should not happen i would assume happens I can pray about a thing over and over and over and over again. And from the outside view, which the outside view is not always accurate, but from the outside view, it may seem like nothing is really changing. Like it may seem like nothing is really going on, you know, like, like as if it is staying the same. But I have to stay in faith. I have to stay encouraged. I have to know that something is happening even if I don't notice it. I tell you this, I pray and I pray and I pray and I pray, but yet I am still met with resistance. Sometimes I even fast and I am still met with resistance. So maybe a normal minded person would probably say, hey, this is too much resistance. What is the point? The point is, even though I believe we are going to have so much problems, I believe our problems can be less severe if we do the right thing. So the severity may depend upon what we choose to do or say. I hope this is making sense to you. Let me say this again. If you are trying to live or are living for Jesus Christ, I believe you are going to be met with resistance I believe you are going to have so many problems, but I believe that is normal, yet you should still fight against them. <laughs> Honestly, I think we are in really a non-ending war until we die, or should I say until God you know, fixes everything and stuff like that. So I think that may be after our death. I don't know too much about end time prophecy and stuff like that. So I may be inaccurate about that. But just know that you have to continue to fight until you die. Maybe after you die, maybe God will have us doing this and doing that. I don't know. But just know, while you are on this earth, you have to continue fighting, which I don't really like fighting, to be honest. But hey, what can you really do if you are living and if God has made things a particular way? So be it. Stay in prayer, stay encouraged and stay on the right path. God bless you.